parents speak out at the Red Jacket School Board meeting in Shortsville. Among their frustrations, the fact that there was no SRO on school grounds when a student brought a loaded gun with extra ammunition to the high school on April 1st. The student was detained by staff before police showed up, but as Christian Garzone reports, parents want more from school leaders. Christian. Well, Teresa, school resource officer is law enforcement on school grounds. Parents were also demanding greater security measures be taken. Many of those things are uh, things Red Jacket says are already in motion. The superintendent read a prepared statement from the podium addressing the large crowd of concerned parents. She talked about new security features being added on school grounds, some of them already in motion before April 1st. We will work on placing more emphasis on the need for flexibility for dynamic cir circumstances in our plans moving forward. New plans include more security cameras, different locking mechanisms for doors, a metal detector, and restoring a school resource officer, a position previously cut to focus on students' mental health needs. And we placed the SRO program on pause. That program now back on. Dana Ruggles says safety should be a top priority in these hallways. Uh, I think there's, there should be more protection of the kids and less money for the superintendents. Deputy John Peck used to be an SRO. He says the staff were heroes on April 1st, restraining the student with the weapon. Also, the, the faculty and staff that were in the, in the classrooms with their children kept them safe. But, he says, having a dedicated SRO is an added level of security. First and foremost is that, uh, that positive relationship that a resource officer develops with their students. District Attorney Jim Ritz says the emotions and concerns from parents were natural. So everybody steps back um, and starts looking at what, you know, what happened. He says the student who brought the pistol to school is in a secure facility. His case is now with a grand jury. You'll know when you know, right. and um, certainly grand jury is secret, and so we can't even disclose when it's scheduled. While the process could take a while, the DA says the community and the student deserve a prompt resolution to all of this. Teresa, back to you. All right, thank you, Christian. To hear the superintendent's full message to parents and students, you can find this story over at rochesterfirst.com.